if you want to modify your airsoft AR M4 M16 then to a large extent the details matter from a functional ergonomic standpoint and from an aesthetic standpoint so I'll take a quick look at some selectors that PTS have sent over they did provide them to me for this video so full disclosure on that one these are the badass battle arms development ambidextrous safety selectors I think that's the acronym don't hold me to that one uh, and they're pretty pretty good for a few nice reasons first off they're fully licensed from battle arms so they're not just Chinese knockoffs or anything PTS gets the licenses uh, very well made of course you get a lot of options and how you build them in terms of the selector lever on both sides and uh and they function extremely well. So they are ambi, as I say, so you get a selector on this side and on the standard left side, so left and right's covered. So you can do either the thumb or you can flip it off with your thumb and then bring it back on with your trigger finger. That's sometimes a nicer method. I prefer it sometimes. It can be a little bit easier to get at this, the right side selector with your trigger finger. So I'll put in some stills and b-roll of the package you actually get from PTS when you buy these which includes a central barrel piece which actually functions inside the lower and then there's a myriad of different lever pieces that you screw on either side of the barrel. Uh, you've got short, long, thin, thick, in between, all sorts of options for both the left and the right side. So you've got a wide array of um, ways in which you can set up the selectors on your rifle. What I tend to go for is like a standard size that's pretty much similar to your stock selector for the left side and then either a short or thin or something in between version for the right side so that when your finger's on the trigger there's a cutout or a shorter one so it's not uh, interfered with when you're trying to change mags or when you've just got your uh, finger resting on the lower. Great thing about these is that really how well they are made and how well they interact with the KWA lower. So again, I'll roll in some B-roll close-up of how well these just snap, just neatly into position. Like what you want in an airsoft selector is that crisp click into each fire position. And these have that in spades. Like they will snap into place before you've even pushed them into the position you want them in and there's absolutely no there's no fudge there's no looseness none of that crap they're just sharp precise they click right into the position you set them and they stay there you may find they're actually quite a bit tougher to manipulate than the selectors you're used to because the the strength of the spring detent within the kwa lower and the the crisp cutouts within the barrel of the middle of the selector on the PTS parts just makes for a really good interface, really good uh, system. And they, they take a little bit of force to move between positions, but again, they click in really sharply, easy. They just feel good, feel right. It's what you, what you expect from a selector and uh, highly recommended. Nice addition to my LM4 here. You can get them for pretty much any of the KWA based rifles that PTS makes. So standard LM4s, obviously this is a modified one. Mega Arms guns, there's a version for those. Future ones that are coming out, you'll have variants that can fit those. There's one version that I can, I believe fits all the old GMP WOCs, so you can fit them in there. Uh, now this is just the standard 90 degree throw, so it's like a standard M16 type selector. But in the future, I'll do another video on the 45 degree, which is your safe semi full auto or within 90 degrees. The gun that they're gonna go in is a, a work in progress right now, but I fitted the 90 degree ones into the gun that I've got finished here just to show for this video. So yeah, if you want, if you want some really nice feeling selectors for your gun, quality production, fully licensed, all that good stuff, check out the PTS ones, they're a good option. Nice little aesthetic upgrade to your rifle as well. Uh, you can pick them up probably most places you can get PTS products really. So thank you for watching the video guys on the PTS Badass Selectors. You can check out 
my social media, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook down below. Um, loads of gear and airsoft and shooting and all sorts of stuff on there. If you like tactical stuff, check it out. I'm pretty confident you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you next time.